Well, thanks, everyone. Um, so I'm from uh, Michigan, uh, which, in case you've never been, is a garbage state in the Midwest. <laughs> I could summarize 22 years of, of experience in Michigan with one story. Uh, I was at a Chinese food restaurant as a kid, and I overheard the woman at the table next to us say to the waiter, <clears throat> what kind of Chinese restaurant doesn't have ranch dressing? <laughs> Just never go there. Um, I've, uh, I've been seeing the same therapist uh, for three years, and I recently decided to make small talk before our most recent session, and I asked him uh, what neighborhood in L.A. he lives in. And he told me, quote, I don't feel comfortable telling you that. <laughs> well, that's the new lowest point of my entire life. <laughs> that perhaps the man who knows me best in the world thinks I'm such a frothing lunatic, I can't be trusted with vague geographic information. <laughs> If I've admitted to you that my first wet dream was to Bob Vila, <laughs> the least you could say is downtown. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you this, uh, the last two weeks of my heterosexuality, right before I came out of the closet, I just convinced myself I was just really attracted to female Bodybuilders. <laughs> yeah, which is adorable. Um, also a bit of a tough sell, because I would always be at, like over at my friends' places for sleepovers, and they would be looking at pictures of Britney Spears, and they'd be like, oh my God, she's so hot. And I was always like, yeah, right. <laughs> You've never even seen Carol Shemansky, <laughs> the Latvian gladiator. <laughs> And they'd be like, who? And then I would pull up a picture of just this beast. <laughs> like eating a fence. She was always eating stuff. <laughs> and I was like, she's perfect. <laughs> Actually, I actually had a, I had a date a couple weeks ago, and it's, but it's been like very hot in LA. Um, so I put on like my best pair of shorts and like my favorite t-shirt, and I was like, oh my God, I look so good. I'm gonna get laid on my date. <laughs> and as I was leaving my building, I saw my neighbor, and he was like, have a good run. <laughs> watched me sprint to my car. Um, I, did, uh, I did, though, I met my favorite homophobe uh, in the world in Michigan, though. Uh, his name was Fred Phelps. Uh, he was the minister of the Westboro Baptist Church, which is most famous for being super anti-gay, and they go around the country protesting funerals and all this stuff. But I thought he was amazing because he came to my university senior year, and he protested my entire university because, and I'm not making this up, Elton John had been there once. That was the whole reason why he came. <laughs> so I went to the counter protest and I got a little bored during it. So I started calling Fred Phelps a gay wad to his face. <laughs> Assuming that was gonna get a rise out of Fred Phelps. Uh, and like three or four iterations in, he actually dropped his sign. He looked me dead in the eyes and he said, I'm not the gay wad, gay wad, greatest comeback of all time. <laughs> It was, it was so good that my dad, who was next to me, actually leaned in and said, he's got you there. Uh, <laughs> that's my time. Thanks, everyone. Hey, great job. Thanks, man. Fantastic. Thank you so Excellent much. job. Brent Sullivan, everybody.